voices from the choristers set the stage for the funeral service held at St. Dominic's Catholic Church, Abaja Abatete. In his sermon, Reverend Father Fabian Chikeloba described life as a journey which every man must undergo, pointing out that the most important thing in the journey is the legacy you leave behind after your journey on earth. Father Chikeloba noted that late Mrs. Cecilia Okafo Mefo is a mother of faith who stood against traditional religion and trusted in God till her death. She lived a virtuous life, exemplary life, as a, a convinced Christian. And so we should emulate lives of the God. These people, they, uh, they, 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 they gave us examples, the paths to tour. It is a challenge to us. Having uh, witnessed people of that uh, like, like this, then we have to pray God so that we follow the steps. After the service, the remains of the late Selena Oka for Mefo no Kukwe, as she is popularly called, were entered in her husband's compound amidst a communes by the children, daughters-in-laws, grandchildren, great-grandchildren, and other relations. <laughs> The children, daughter-in-laws, and grandchildren described the late matriarch as a mother of faith who had left an indelible mark in the life of everyone who came across her. She grew up around the pagans. I had father, when he mentioned the pagan gods, yes. She grew up here, street. We had a word of the parishes, right? She was a street mother, starting with herself. They had children. Her warmth, you know. Uh, she was a very lively person. You know, without uh, there were no dull moments, so we we'll certainly miss that. Um, you know, that motherly care, guidance, and all that, very fundamental. I will miss that too because she was strong to the end. My mom was a sweet mom. She took very care of us and, and, and other people. She believed in God. She served God. Um, that's why she was called Mother of Faith. She's a, a brave woman, a loving mother. A mother that people cherish, mother that is godly, mother that is devoted in the church. In fact, she is somebody that loves something good. Nedim is a lovely woman. She loves all, all her wives. Vicious woman, humble, down to earth, very caring and loving. She's the best grandmother anyone in this world will pray for. Like, the time I spent with her, she, she was, in fact, more than the best. She was a very good person. She didn't like trouble at all. If, if people had an issue and they had to struggle over something, she would let it go. She was a very good and very nice person. Friends, in-laws, relations and dignitaries from Anambra State and beyond paid their condolences to the family. My bless the family, the Christ and God. May they continue to live in peace, continue to follow the system of God. Live the kind of life that she lived. She was a good woman. She was ahead of her peers. You know, we call her London. London implies that she's very fashionable. My prayer that they will live long life and live a Christian life. But my advice is that uh, she should see it as uh, a way of giving gratitude to God. Because Mama really lived very long and lived a highly religious life. The event featured condolences, different cultural troops, age grades, and other displays which added color to the occasion. <laughs> I'm gonna go
Late Selina Ife Sinachi Okafome 4 died at the age of 99, leaving her seven children, five sons, two daughters, 20 grandchildren, five great-grandchildren, and many other relations. From Abaja Abatete, Ife Inwadane Okbai, NTA News.
have set the law to be at peace with God our Father. And may she be happy forever with all the saints in the presence of the eternal King. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm.